It's a different kind of tension when friends are fighting. And these guys are pretty close, you know? They had conversations when this fight was offered about the merits of fighting each other, and there was no obvious other option. But I like the way they both just said yes. Yes. Let's do it. And honestly, like training in Thailand, they said that because they were names, they didn't have to go hard because the guys that were on the side that were trying to make names for themselves were going hard in the very next round. So they were kind of touching. But I'll tell you what, Brad Vidal does look in the best shape I've He's seen. He's big. It. His back looks huge. And cut. And when Brad Riddell left his job as the Muay Thai coach at Tiger Muay Thai, Rafael Fazeev took that job. Inside leg kick early for Riddell. Took the left elbows. Riddell, not unlike his teammate Dan Hooker, who is in his corner tonight, has had to deal with a lot of obstacles in trying to get good training in, given the landscape in New Zealand. And honestly, found a lot of faith in the team, right, John? Because he said they were getting chased around and the media was behind them, but they just kept finding places to get together to get what they needed in order to be successful mixed martial artists. You know, going back to that training environment years ago at Tiger Muay Thai, you know, when you're there, because I've spent a lot of time in Thailand, you got fighters from all over the world, you know, and, and you fly in there and you stay there and you're training every day and you do build a camaraderie and a brotherhood, so to speak, and you do become friends. But as I said, it's not like your childhood best friends, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah your buddies, you stay in touch and all the rest of it. But then if you're on this path and you're both trying to be the best in the world and the UFC say, hey, you're fighting this guy, I love the way they handled it. They said, yeah, sure, okay, let's just touch base with one another. Say, may the best man win, and maybe I'll see you at the bar afterwards. You know, you look at Fazeev, and maybe it's the shape that Riddell is in, but Fazeev looks small compared to Riddell. Like, he's not as tall, and he's like, looks like he can make 45. And a little tentative as well. Yeah, not, not what we're used to seeing from Fazeev up to this point. Oh, oh. But, I mean, you heard the power on that. Yeah, both guys have landed some nasty body kicks early. Both 10 and 1 coming in tonight. And if you want to see a standout performance from Fazeev, I mean, the stoppage of Hinato Moicano. I mean, that was up there with one of the best. Oh, man. Fazeev doing a good job of countering. Oh. Oh. These two are throwing haymakers. Everything hard early. Under two minutes here to go round one. Yeah, I mean, that right hand from Riddell there. Oof, some power. Riddell's got to be very careful when he enters with his combination because Fazeev counters with a high kick. Very hard skill to pull off, but he's hit him in the arms two times already. Riddell briefly given the southpaw look a moment ago to Fazeev. There's that counter again, the counter right hook every time from Fazeev. But he's got to be careful because that right hand of Riddell is kind of finding the mark. Fazeev looks so calm and patient in there. Look at his face, just faint and moving. Like, it's all those little things, Mike, that happen inside the octagon, just like the fight inside the fight, the traps. Those little feints to try to draw out the reaction of your opponent so that you decide what your attack's gonna be. Yeah, you're right, you can see the composure. Whereas on the flip side, Riddell looks a little... Tense. A little, yeah, tense, there you go, good word. I was gonna say a little stressed out. Body kick starting to pile up for Fazeev. Riddell's jab has been sharp tonight. Oh. 
Oh, nice. beautiful Something. combination from Riddell late in the round. Round two next. Let's fight. Eugene Behrman works very hard to prevent us from being able to hear his corner advice to Brad Riddell. As far as Nick Lentz's advice to Fazib Michael, feels like Riddell does not like the hands. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Riddell was saying this week that Fazib has a very offbeat rhythm. You know, yes. it's an unusual rhythm, but he said, fortunately, I have a lot of people at City Kickboxing that can replicate that and give me a similar look. And of course, they've also got Israel Adesanya, one of the best kickboxers on planet Earth. Or a mixed martial artist, actually, let's be honest. He's a dominant heavy, UFC heavy, uh, light heavyweight. <laughs> Middleweight champion, my word. <laughs> Man, my look at this hand speed, though, for Ziv. When he lets them go, so fast. You'd want to see Riddell commit to his jab a little bit more. There it is. When he commits to his combination, Riddell finds success. But a lot of times he'll pop the jab out there, but he's throwing it halfway, almost like he isn't certain it's going to get to its target. Good start to round two for Brad Riddell. Again, switching up the stances, giving different looks to Fazeev. And round one is a very competitive round. Very close. Yeah, Fazeev just, his, his combinations pop off the page because he's so fast. Neither man, uh, I mean, there has been one or two oh, shots. Oh, look at nothing, him, he cut him with that elbow. Yep. Nothing too flush. Step in the elbow. Yeah, split him wide open. On that last little combination along the side of the octagon, Fazeev led with a right, oh. right elbow that cut him. I mean, Brad Bedell looks sharp tonight. This is the fastest he's yeah. ever been. He just landed a massive right hand over the top there. Yeah, but look at the blood pumping it. out. Riddell staying focused and present despite that massive cut. That little left hook got his attention, kind of wobbled him slightly. Nicely placed with a body kick for Riddell. Oh, oh look at that, both guys. Jeez, bold <laughs> landing left hooks there. And they are fast. Good counter by Fazeev. Riddell throws that little kick, and when he throws it, he steps in with his combination. It looks like he's trying to throw a front kick, but it's very short. Another combination there by Riddell. Yeah, it's interesting because Fazeev's cutting off the cage. He's controlling the octagon. But so, so, so that kind of blinds the fact that a lot of the time, Riddell against the fence is actually landing more shots. Yeah, he's landing shots. It, it's Fazeev that's cutting him off and forcing him back, but... Brad's fighting very well against the fence. Boys are going to need some Motrin in the morning. Under two minutes to go, round two. And you're right, DC, that, that, that gash is massive. There's the first takedown attempt. Doesn't appear to be in a terrible place, though. Not trickling into the eye at all. Oh. That won't help. Well, both guys a little bloodied and battered as they both forecasted. Nice short right from Fazeev lands. Now body kick. Fazeev has got some real technical skills in the stand-up, man. He's so sharp, nothing's wasted. And the footwork's awesome. You see that anytime Bedell kind of gets off the fence, kind of gets to the center ground, he cuts off the cage, yeah. he pivots, he controls the cage so well. That's what Rizzo, this is what Riddell needs to do. He's got to be more active going forward. Try to get Fazeev on his heels a little bit, opposed to being backed up the entire time. See, see look at that, though. He kind of got the center of the octagon. Fazeev came all the way out and round, got in front of him and forced him back again. Very close. Uh, 
Unorthodox attack there from Riddell. Landed the left hand. Final five minutes of the co-main coming up. They have brought in the ringside physician who has taken a look at that cut. And they will allow Brad Riddell to continue at least for now. I like watching Coach Lentz work that physique yeah. for Michael, huh? That was nice work. Nice and calm and composed. Good work as well. I like what he said at the end. Go and get it. Gave him some good advice, but he was like, okay, third round. Dean Thomas, what do you see? Fight is very close in terms of numbers and what's actually happening. But I think what the difference is, is the body language. Fazeev just looks so comfortable, and he looks so confident, and at times, Brad Riddell looks panicky and a little stiff, and I think that that body language is gonna be the biggest difference in terms of what the judges are seeing. Very well said, Dean. Oh, it's kind of what we said before, DC, but look at that. Pulls out a takedown, but Fazeev almost up. That was exactly what Brad Riddell needed. That was beautiful. Beautiful level change, great timing on the takedown. Got the takedown, and he not, oh, then he cut, lets Fazeev go. Just his second takedown of the fight. He was credited with the takedown there, DC, if you care. Oh, Ooh, left hook got through. That was a takedown by Riddell. Beautiful shot. I mean, he's throwing everything with absolute power now. This is just incredible to watch <laughs> and listen to. Oh, body and then upstairs for Riddell. Fazeev also appeared to land. Yeah, Fazeev landed the left hook. Riddell landed on the end. When these guys come together, it's not one punch, not looking to just land one shot. Correct. Everything's in combination. And you see Riddell kind of looks off to the side, throws a little misdirection with his eyes, and then attacks. Another takedown attempt. Defended well. I mean, as you say, DC, look at that. Every time they explode in a lightning fast flurry. All right, three minutes until they resume the friendship. And this fight is so close. These, these combinations and these exchanges they happen so fast, it's hard to... Oh! Oh, oh you heard him back. He's hurt, he's so, hurt. That is it! Rafael Fazeev finishes wow. Brad Riddell! Right Take here, right, you see him spinning into Boom. the wheel kick. And it looks like... Yeah, yeah uh, it kind yeah, of froze yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, So Herb yeah. looks at him and sees that he's not there. Look at the eyes. Yeah, the brain short-circuited for sure. I mean... Yeah, take a look. Yeah, yeah, he's... Yeah, he's, he's yeah. out of it there. He's out of it. Unofficially the 13th wheel kick knockout in UFC history. Rafael Fazeev will be moving up the lightweight rankings. Perhaps these two will meet again. But tonight belongs to Ottoman. Here now is Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Two minutes, 20 seconds, round number three. We have your winner by TKO, Rafael Adamant Fazeev.